Hi friends, it's Terry Stewart, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Welcome to my Stamping is Fun channel and this month's vlog. I have a really super fun project I can't wait to show you, so let's get started. Today's vlog, we are casing the catalog. This is the annual catalog that just started on May the 4th. My project that I'm casing is on page 158, and it's this project here featuring the brilliant wings dies. So this is the project, and here is my version. One version, and then I've done a second version. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? The colors we're using are Mango Melody, Rainy Apple Green, and Flirty Flamingo with a piece of Flirty Flamingo cardstock. The dies are these brilliant wings and it actually comes with a multitude of dies. So it comes with this piece that cuts six butterflies at one go and there's a coordinating stamp, butterfly stamp, but I'm not using that today. I'm just using the dies. There's all these dies, little butterflies, a, a brick pattern, kind of a crosshatch pattern, and like some little bubbles. In addition, these dies, and there are even more dies. These are the detailed butterfly dies, and they are cut individually. So that's what we're going to be using today. We're going to be using this big die and these six uh, coordinating detail dies that match each of the butterflies on this die. So let me see if I can line them up here and show you. Uh, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. So this one would go there. Oh, this one would go here. This one there. There. And these detail dies are slightly smaller. Um, than the holes that are cut out on this big die. So you can see there's a slight edge around them. Although they don't fit, you can't cut them together. You do have to cut them separately. Trust me, I tried, but it doesn't work that well. way. So, okay. And so that's the dies. We're gonna be using the, all these brilliant wing dies. And then for our sentiment, I'm using Art Gallery. And this one's a thank you, this one's a good luck, and today I'm gonna to do a birthday, happy birthday. So let's get started. The ingredients I'm using for this project is a half sheet of grainy apple green. So I've cut it in half and scored it down the middle so it's folded in half. So quarter, you have a, a traditional card front here. And then I have three pieces of Whisper White which is the first layer that layers on to uh, the car front. We're going to use two of these on the front and then one on the inside. I have cut cardstock to the sizes of each of these butterflies, the detailed, and I'll have the measurements on my blog at stampinghair.blogspot.com. So check out the de description below for a link to that blog. I'm also have cut um, adhesive sheets to the same size of each of these. And we'll be, I'll be showing how, how I'm gonna use those. And a scrap of Flirty Flamingo for our sentiment. Each of these pieces of cardstock corresponds to one of the butterflies. I've cut them out to the, to the size of the butterfly. And now I'm gonna be using the adhesive sheets. These adhesive sheets are six in a pack, and they're great for doing these detailed um, cutouts because the adhesive will be on the back sides. Now to do that, we'll cut from the top, but each of the backings we need to put on the Sizzix adhesive sheet. And I'm gonna show you how I'm going to do that. Let me stack all these up and get a little bit of room on my workspace. So I've cut them and you'll see that there's a little edge over here you can peel so it gives you easy access. I like to burnish it a little bit. Now when we peel this apart, the sticky will be on the part that doesn't have words on it. So when we peel the sheet away, the adhesive 
is on the bottom layer that doesn't have any words. And I'm very, being very careful to hold it by this edge so I don't mess up the adhesive. Now I'm gonna lay this directly on top of the cardstock. And then I'll do that for all six pieces. And once I have all six with the backing, I'm going to cut it with the cardstock up and the adhesive on the back so I can fit them in. Now you don't wanna do it the opposite way because there are differences. Like you will notice in this die, one of the antenna is curved. So if we stuck the adhesive down in this, it's not gonna fit into the slot because it's not, they're not mirror images. Put all the adhesive sheets on. Now that I have the adhesive sheeting on the back of each piece of cardstock, I'm going to run it through my cut and emboss machine. But before I have my emboss and cut machine out, I'm also going to cut one of the pieces of white cardstock with this brilliant wings dies. It's my cardstock layer and then my die. And I want about the same amount of die overhanging on both edges. So after die cutting, I have my butterflies that have the adhesive backing and the piece remaining, once I remove the solid butterflies, I kept the small pieces that were left, these one, two, three, and this piece. I'm gonna set this aside while I do some stamping. We're gonna stamp on or ink on these two pieces. The inks for the background are Mango Melody, Granny Apple Green, and Flirty Flamingo. I'm gonna set this piece of Flirty Flamingo cardstock aside for now and bring in a piece of scrap paper. I'm gonna start with the Flirty Flamingo and this is a ink pad directly to cardstock technique. So I'm going to take my ink pad and drag it across my cardstock. And I wanna do the upper third. So I'm gonna start a little bit off of the cardstock and drag it across. And you can go back as much as you would like, dark as you would like it. And next the Granny Apple Green, I'm going to do the same technique. And I am going to overlap them. So start off of the cardstock and then drag across. And I like this um, light and dark area, so I'm just gonna leave that. I think it adds some uh, visual accents. And then with my Mango Melody, we'll do the last bit. So off of the ink, off of the cardstock, I'm gonna take this edge where there's this color, um, well, here, I wanna get this edge up here where there uh, more contact is available. So I'm gonna hold it, start off the edge and drag across. And I like that color, so I'm not gonna go over that anymore. Our background piece is done. I'm gonna set that aside and bring out my flirty flamingo. So using my happy birthday sentiment from the art gallery, I'm going to stamp on Flirty Flamingo with Memento ink. Ink this up. And oh, didn't get all the ink. I could see through this as a photopolymer. So I was able to notice that part of the B was not inked up. So now I can stamp. Using my snips, I'm going to cut this out. And I'm going to place some dimensionals behind this. 
it will be popped up on the card front. So right here are negative image. I'm gonna use some liquid glue on the back. And this liquid glue works really well for this project. So you have a little wiggle room when you put it down. If it's not quite where you want it, you can uh, reposition it. And this was where you would decide whether you want the yellow side or the pink side. And I'm gonna go with the pink up today. And then you want your butterflies going up. So you'll notice that this is where the antennas go. So you want your antennas to go up. And this is the same size that we used to cut um, the butterfly. So it should fit right to the edges. And these small pieces we'll put in once our butterflies are laid in. So this is like a puzzle now where we want to place these, see where they go. We'll dry fit them before we expose the adhesive on the back, the adhesive backing. Okay, and so now we can start removing our adhesive and the pick a tool can help separate the cardstock from the adhesive co covering. And when you pull it apart pieces make sure all the little ones that um, all the little pieces might come out and be stuck on the back. So you want to be careful to get all those um, loose pieces out. Just stick that down. Work our way over here. If you don't have a pick a tool, you can Use your fingernail. And like the puzzle, we'll just fit it in there. A little piece with a small border. These pieces, the die cuts so well, the most of these little pieces fall out easily. Great. Covering, remove any pieces that might have gotten caught on the back. And then you can fit it into its spot, leaving a narrow border. And then these pieces that were left over, you can see where they go. We're gonna glue those down now. For this one, I'm just gonna put the glue right onto the cardstock. And then set this little tiny corner down. Over here, do the same and just put the glue right onto the edge of the cardstock. And I'm lining up the edge of the piece with the base layer. And that is our card front. And now we're going to take our snips. So once the card front is completed, we can take our snips and trim these butterfly that hang over. And now we're ready to assemble the final pieces of the card. I'm gonna put this is our uh, on the inside piece. 
And as I said, it's um, the first layer in the US. This would be four by five and a quarter. So it's a standard first layer. And then for the outside, our card front, and this is the same uh, first one layer, four by five and a quarter. And that gets on placed on our card front. And then our happy birthday sentiment. I'll remove these dimensional covers. And place this right here. For the last embellishment, I'm using pearls with my blends. And I have my dark Daffodil Delight and my dark Flirty Flamingo. I'm going to use the brush tip and color two pearls. And then I'm going to do three in my Daffodil Delight. So these are permanently uh, colored now. This color will not rub off. And then with my pick a tool, I'm going to pick the, it up. And I'm going to put the pink ones on the top since we have our fruity flamingo in this direction. And then the Daffodil Delight um, put down on this part here. And that'll be here. And then the third one. Maybe down here, up here. Huh. This looks about right there. I hope you enjoyed this vlog hop of casing the catalog. Hop along to the other participants so you can see even more fun casing projects. Subscribe to my channel so I can bring you even more fun stamping projects. Until next time, remember, stamping is fun.